Once quantum computers are built up more fully, and according to our framework, we can measure more or less the work and heat exchanged within a lattice gauge theory system using tools from quantum thermodynamics and quantum simulation. Your research is on quantum thermodynamics, so could you start by telling me a little bit more about what that means? Certainly. I should start with thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is the study of energy, heat and work, different forms of energy. It was inspired by the Industrial Revolution and steam engines. Unfortunately, steam engines are an awful lot bigger than a lot of the technologies that are transformative today. So we need to extend thermodynamics to the small scale and quantum regime. So I see that quantum thermodynamics is kind of based around three guiding questions that are aided with the toolkit of quantum information science. First, we know that quantum phenomena such as entanglement can enhance information processing tasks like computation. And just as there are information processing tasks, there are thermodynamic tasks like extracting work and charging batteries and cooling systems. So we ask how the quantum phenomena can similarly enhance thermodynamic tasks. Second, we take the laws of thermodynamics, which were developed, for instance, for steam engines, and see how they extend to the quantum realm. For instance, we can use tools from quantum information theory to prove more precise, more detailed versions of the second law of thermodynamics, which helps us understand why time flows in only one direction. Third, we can look at a system that's processing energy and ask, what behaviors can it exhibit only if it's quantum? So we can use thermodynamics to understand better the difference between the classical realm and the quantum. I see that package as quantum thermodynamics. Oh, very interesting. So then what are some of the challenges that you're trying to, to solve or um, to apply this kind of research to? I'm a big advocate of taking our toolkit of quantum thermodynamics and applying it to many different neighboring spheres of physics. For instance, I recently worked with folks in high energy and nuclear physics. They're interested in lattice gauge theories, which model things like elementary particle physics and some condensed matter systems. And these systems are involve a lot of correlations. The degrees of freedom are very interdependent. My colleagues had some problems with saying there's an independent system degree of freedom over here and an independent environment degree of freedom over there so that we can say that the energy exchanged between the two is heat because of this interdependence. So a colleague and I from quantum thermodynamics helped out by using a mathematical toolkit from quantum thermodynamics called strong coupling quantum thermodynamics. So we modeled the lattice gauge theory system as a system here and an environment there that are strongly coupled. And we used this toolkit in order to define the work and heat exchanged. Great. And am I right in saying that this is to be applied to very extreme environments? Could you give us some examples of what environments? Sure. An example consists of the collisions of uh, heavy nuclei in a particle collider or the early universe. So we're looking then at sort of fractions of a second after the Big Bang, the really very, very early universe? The next step is to take our theory and apply it to quantum simulation on a quantum computer. The calculations associated with lattice gauge theory and Heavy ion collisions are very difficult, so people are looking to quantum computers in order to perform the calculations more efficiently once quantum computers are built up more fully. And according to our framework, we can measure more or less the work and heat exchanged within a lattice gauge theory system using tools from quantum thermodynamics and quantum simulation. Very interesting. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to come and talk to me here. Thanks and, for having uh, me. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Thanks.